So it's uh, Tuesday the 5th of January, uh, another uh, video and lots of information in this. Um, so 8 o'clock last night the Prime Minister announced a national lockdown and um, closure of schools to all bar key worker children and certain other groups. Um, we would slightly seen some of this coming so put some plans in place but I, I won't pretend it's not been a, um, a difficult 24 hours um, putting everything in place and I have to thank uh, A, all of you for your patience and understanding but also uh, I have to thank the, the school team who have been absolutely incredible um, and we've turned everything around and I think we've got everything in place. So I'm going to go through what's in the letter um, just so that uh, we've clarified, to, uh, clarified everything and put a few um, bits of flesh on the bones. So the key things are Nursery will be open for the whole of this term. So if you have your children who come to nursery, you can bring them in. Even if it doesn't matter if you're a key worker or not, the government um, uh, have really prioritised early years education and the team are there to uh, welcome your children. The current lockdown is planned for this half term. So that takes up to February the 12th, Friday the 12th of February. Um, and during that time... We've now got, got plans in place for education in school, online learning, and then paper-based learning for those who aren't able to access it. The online learning will be a mix of live lessons or live input, the use of white rose maths, and also resources that the teachers have created. And the reason we've done that is that we're aware that for some families it's very difficult to get online all at the same time, so they, that uh, children can access it live or later. Work uh, can be submitted, and I'll talk through that later, uh, so that teachers can look at it uh, and then use that to inform the work we do and refer to it in the lessons. Um, if you um, qualify uh, as a key worker, and the list is long, and it is longer than it was in March, on the letter, there's a, a link to an online form and also the um, key worker list. And um, we, we do need you to fill in the form so that we are able to plan because we're, we're setting it up so that children will be in their year groups. It won't be like it was before. So year four, uh, for example, we've opened the doors. The room is open so that the children can go in there. Teachers will be... Um, teaching the children in school from year from their year group uh, and also doing the home learning uh, as well. So we, we do need um, as much uh, prior warning of children being in. I uh, had a really good conversation with Mr Darve head at uh, UALS. We're, you know, again, working closely on things. Um, he has, I know that there's um, um, some perceived pressures in some houses around IT use. Um, if you are um, a family that is struggling to get online, I have sent out a link uh, in the letter. We do have some access. Um, we've got some um, uh, free data sims uh, that will go into tablets or dongles or Wi-Fi. Um, uh, we've got access to some laptops and possibly some tablets as well. And I've spoken to a charity today who are very keen to support us, which once we've got something uh, concrete on there, I'll come out with that. So there is a link on the letter. I can't promise how many I can have of each, but uh, we will try and support you with that. Also, um, he, he also has, um, if you have children at UALS, we can work together as a school to support families, which is why I'm so uh, grateful to Mr. Darve. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, we also have got a period of time between one fifteen and uh, two twenty, where the majority of year groups aren't streaming, which means that we'll put our assembly in at one thirty, so that all children can access that live. Um, we're also um, incredibly aware that, based on our experiences in the last uh, lock, well, the first lockdown, sorry, this is a difficult time. Families are being furloughed. Redundancies will come through. If you are struggling in any way, you are concerned around uh, putting food on the table or need advice or support, we can support with that. Please don't forget the food larder is now no longer in school. It's in the porter cabin 
behind St Mary's Church Hall and again details of there. Please do not hide away. If you need help, we're here to support. <coughs> um, so if your child is coming in um, booked in as a key worker child, um, details are on the letter there. Breakfast club is provided. Come from 8 to 8.10 to the front. Otherwise, come 8.30 to 8.50 round the side. Triangle and class is operating 9 till 1. And again, um, come in sort of 8.50, 9 o'clock and go round the back of reception and children will know where to go in. And there are some other children working in classes who are uh, operating mornings only. So you will uh, walk them round to their class, but pick them up from the front at uh, one o'clock. Um, children have been in. If you've, if you've ordered the school dinners, uh, then they will be provided and more forms will be sent out. So remote learning staff have worked so hard today. Um, and the key thing is that uh, you are currently being have, uh, having uh, emails through from uh, the admin team for your logins on for Microsoft Teams. There are instructions on the letter how to do this. Um, it will work as an app on a tablet or on a phone, or you can get it on your laptop. Uh, but we have given Mr. Um, Law the phone number, uh, sorry, phone number, the, the school f uh, mobile phone. So he'll be working as IT support, so you can ring him and he will be able to help you. Uh, between nine and 3.30, give him a ring and he will get you sorted. Um, there's a few protocols around Teams, um, making sure that your um, microphones are turned off. And what we've also done is created uh, some uh, email accounts. So if you're in uh, nursery or reception, you can use Evidence Me to, and we would really ask you to send up work through Evidence Me. Uh, and if you are in um, years one to year six, um, you can. Um, use the chat facility to ask questions, but also you can take photographs or scans of your children's work and send them into the teachers. Now, this is the really key bit. Things are very different from March in that the government have legislated. It is a law that we are required to provide education uh, for the children. And uh, it, we are legally required to um, provide immediate remote learning. So that is something that Ofsted will judge us on when they uh, finally uh, come to visit us, when visits uh, restart. Um, so it is incumbent on me as a school leader um, to make sure that children are engaging with learning. So I am afraid if we're not getting uh, work uh, booked in for to be printed off or we're not hearing from you or we're not getting... Uh, ac um, access to online learning or Purple Mash or these things, we will give you a call to check things are okay. And, and, and I hope you take no offence at that. It's something that we are uh, really required um, to do. And what I finally would say is, we, you know, we've been through this. this is our third lockdown as a community. Um, we will be fine. Uh, and Long Sutton really does come to the fore. Uh, and... You know, I am becoming braver in contacting people. You know, if there's a way I can help, we you know we spend a lot of our time looking uh, at different funds, whether it be getting the Sims in, or whether it be working with the food larder, or whether it be um, getting in um, additional uh, resources to support you, uh, your children with learning. If there is any way we can help, please do not hesitate uh, in contacting us. So IT support, there's a phone number for Mr. Law. Uh, if you uh, do send in the work the children are doing, if your work circumstances change and become a key worker, get in touch. We can add them to the list and that will come out um, in about 10 days time, ready for uh, two weeks times uh, education. So um, thank you for everything. Thank you for your message of support. It is a really tough time. Um, but again, this is... Um, we will get through this and we'll get through this well. So, uh, and hopefully we'll see you at our live assemblies uh, each day, uh, a moment of uh, community uh, togetherness. And, and please, please stay safe. Thanks ever so much.